A recent Africa Center for Strategic Studies Analysis has found that there were 6,859 episodes of violence involving militant Islamist groups in Africa in 2022, and that this is a 22% increase from 2021. Fatalities linked to these events also shot up 48% to 19,109 deaths. Clearly, we stand to lose if these activities continue, and we have to constantly seek avenues for confronting our threats in common and thereby protect our polity from the kind of destructive civil wars that have bedeviled other countries in the sub-region these past two decades. The emerging threat of terrorism in our sub-region, apart from purveying fear and insecurity, also carries economic consequences that put a strain on our meager financial resources. At the onset of conflict in a neighboring country, there are financial pressures exerted on all in the neighborhood. At a minimum, we are obliged under international humanitarian law to receive and care for refugees fleeing the conflict, as we are currently doing for refugees from Cote d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso. None can be turned away, and even with assistance from UNHCR, some expense to us at a time when our own economic challenges threaten to overwhelm us cannot be avoided. 